Okay, so super quick, right? Mesh 101 sort of idea, right? You have a, a bunch of a bunch of vertices. Uh, we, we'll, we'll just say the vector twos for now, right? So let's say this one's uh, this one's zero zero. Uh, this one's um, zero one. This one's uh, one one. And this one's uh, one zero, right? Here's all your here's your here's all here's your vertices. Um, <clears throat> we want to make that into a mesh. What we're gonna what we're gonna need to tell what we're gonna need to tell our tell our tell tell Unity is we're gonna need to say okay we've we've got this list of uh, one two three four a list of four vector twos so a list uh, of vector two or an array would also work. Um, this is vector two and that's got that's got four elements in it now. We're also going to need to tell it the the triangle makeup and how that's going to look generally will be um, going clockwise because if it's anti-clockwise that's going to be the back face of it. You know, where sometimes you fall through the video game, you can see through objects. You know, it's because it's uh, the the renderer does only wants to render things once. You know, you don't want to render the back side of something you'll never see. Okay, so so we go. Okay, so in that case, a triangle. We just need to know which vertices we want to hook up. So a triangle, uh, the triangle, um, the triangle element of a of a mesh is going to be. Let's say this mesh would be uh, three elements of, or two elements of three, because it'd be like okay, uh, boom, 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 and boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's your two triangles, and it's two, just two lists. So if this if this uh, if this index was let's say this is the first element of the index, so this would be I'll draw the I'll do the elements in green. Okay, that'd be zero, that'd be one, that'd be two, that'd be three. Then the then the triangle the triangle array would be an array of integers, right? And the triangle array would look like this. Oh, maybe that's a bit too. Right, I'll do this one. Triangles. Angles, right? Is going to equal. Uh, it's going to equal something like this. It's going to be like zero, one, two, right? Zero, one, two. That's one triangle. And then you keep going, and you go uh, zero, two, three, zero, two, three. Okay. And now you've got you got your list of vector twos, which would be four, four, four separate vector twos. And then you list the triangles, which is just the indices of those of those vertices. Okay, so now if we wanted to do uh, s something something with uh, an odd odder shape than a square, let's say for example, uh, we wanted to do like a a pentagon. Someone says, "Draw, all right, do me a pentagon, right? I got a vertex here, vertex here, vertex here, vertex here and here, right? How am I going to do that? Well." I, I, you know, there's, there might be a few ways to do it. Right off the bat, one of the, one of the simplest ways we could do it is, okay, you want a shape like that. Well, why don't we just add one in the middle here, and then suddenly we can do this triangle thing. Okay, there's one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, four triangles, and five triangles. Okay, and then so now, especially if we know the order of these, of these vertices. Uh, which in in AR Core we're actually given the exact order when we're given a, a tracks plane we're given the vertices in a clockwise in a clockwise order which makes it so easy for us to create a new vertex at the center of the of the plane and then be able to just yeah uh, create our triangles that way. Uh, the only thing we need to really concentrate uh, like just remember is say say this is the indices of the vertexes right we've got zero one two three four five the triangles are going to go like let's say like they always start at five so five zero one five one two five two three five three four five four zero so just make sure we've got that last one uh coming back coming back to the initial index and that yeah that's kind of just the idea behind behind that shape.